This is the fifth part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. In the previous part, I have started setting up the spray models by a solid cone injector and specified the fuel compositions. Let us continue with other settings for the spray models. Forte uses the concept of parcels to model sprays. Each parcel contains a number of local droplets with similar attributes. We typically use a limited number of parcels in the simulation to represent the spray droplet distribution in order to save computational cost. There are different ways to specify how a parcel is defined. In this example, I'm going to inject a fixed amount of parcels during the fuel injection process. I also want to specify the discharge coefficient, 0.7 for the injector nozzle, and the mean cone angle near the nozzle hole exit as 15 degrees. In practice, these two parameters should be estimated based on the specific injector to be simulated. Now, for this injector, let us specify the fuel injection process in more detail by creating a new injection. I want to set the start of injection as minus 22.5 degrees. And that is 22.5 degrees before piston reaching top dead center. And the duration of the injection as 7.75 degrees. I want to use a sine function to approximate the fuel injection velocity profile. Also, the total injected fuel amount is set as 0 0.0535 gram. Note that this is the total amount of fuel injected into the whole combustion chamber. Since I'm simulating a 60 degree sector of the chamber, the actual amount of fuel injected into this sector domain will be 1 over 6 of the total amount specified here. From the fuel injector, I also need to specify more information about the nozzle, that is where it is located and where the spray injection is directed, and what is the nozzle size. To specify the nozzle location, I like to use the cylindrical coordinates, because the axis of symmetry is at the center of the cylinder head where the injector is mounted. And I want the nozzle to be a little bit away from the axis of symmetry and below the cylinder head surface. After specifying the direction of the spray injection, You will see that there is a cone shape indicator in the 3D view window representing the nozzle setup. Whenever you make a change to the nozzle setting, it will be reflected by the indicator so that you can immediately see its impact. For example, what if I change the spray injection direction from 104 degrees to 130 degrees? you can immediately see the change by the tilted angle of this indicator. The size of the nozzle exit area is 0 0.0003 centimeters squared. This completes the setting of the spray models. In diesel engines, we are also interested in predicting soot emission. Forte offers two types of suit models, a popular two-step semi-empirical model 
which predicts soot mass, and a more advanced method of moment model, which tracks not only soot mass, but also particle size distribution. To briefly summarize, I have set up spray models using a solid cone injector. I have specified the fuel compositions, parcel number, discharge coefficient, and mean cone angle. I set up the injection process by specifying the start and duration of injection, the velocity profile, and the amount of fuel. The injector nozzle should have its location, direction, and orifice size. Finally, I have activated a suit model to predict suit emission. This concludes the fifth part of the demonstration.